What's up guys, Hobbo88 here, and welcome back to R Factor. We're doing some more dirt track racing, and we are in the street stocks. Uh, it comes by request, Jackson Crawford asked if we can run the street stocks at East Bay Raceway Park. And that's just what we're going to do. I've got this number 22 car selected. I think it looks pretty sweet, and uh, I like it. Uh, some of the things you can change with the car, all listed out here, but all I've done is... Uh, added a rock screen, put in a window net, and changed the front grille. I haven't done any other changes to the car. All stock standard. And uh, we're going to go ahead and load up the Winter Nationals version of East Bay Raceway Park. Uh, it's available from uh, the dirtpile.net. I'll put a link in the description um, down below. So, got the Dirtworks Design Street Stocks. Uh, rolling start, we might go, might make it 20 laps. 18 cars, 85% difficulty. I'm happy with all that. Let's go ahead and load the track up. And while that's happening, I'm just going to quickly show you guys my Logitech profiler for my Logitech G27. These are the settings that I use for my G27, all 100%. Uh, when I'm on R Factor, I run around about 270 degrees of rotation for all the cars on here. And for any other sim, I run it at 900 degrees. So for iRacing or Automobilista, stuff like that, 900 degrees. But uh, that's my settings in there. And we'll quickly now jump into the settings in here. The difficulty, everything is turned off except for invulnerability. Uh, but this is the other one that you guys often ask me about. Um, I've got my uh, rates and force feedback settings. Um, the uh, steering rates, all this sort of stuff. This is the thing. This is how I've got my. Um, this is how I've got my wheel set up. My all of my settings never change from any of the cars. So, a lot of people ask me about how to get the cars to drive in R Factor. Make sure you've got your settings like this. This is my G27, and see how it goes with whatever wheel you've got. But this is what I use, and uh, you can see down here that my pedals are buggered. Um, but anyway. Uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and load up a practice session here. I'm going to quickly go into the garage first. I'll just shorten off the gear ratio a little. I think we'll need a little bit shorter gear. And turn up the steering ratio all the way up. Steering lock all the way up. Let's go ahead fire this thing up. If I can remember the button. No. No. We go. I couldn't remember the button that I had set up for my ignition. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Let's go out here and cut a couple of practice laps. Make sure we've got that rear end ratio <coughs> or gear ratio set up to where it needs to be. We want to max out the revs on the straight. Sounds pretty good. Our old engine's working pretty hard, and that's alright. Needs to if we're going to be fast. Actually just got to the limiter there on the back straight. And again, so we might have to just lower it off a little. Basically, uh, these cars are very... They're not very powerful. I'm basically holding it flat, maybe a small lift into the corners, but um, uh oh, car coming out of the pits. Oh 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 oh! Oh, that was lucky. Um. Yeah, quite underpowered these cars. If I was doing this uh, request for this video, I probably would have said do um, the super stocks because they're a little bit more powerful. But it's what it is. We're in the street stocks, so you're pretty much holding it flat. There's not a lot here that makes these cars all that hard to drive.
Looks like it's going to be pretty even with these guys. We're going to be pretty, pretty closely matched for speed. Two teammates here. We've got looks like what is that? The 25, 27 there, and the number one up further. The identical paint scheme. Uh, slowing down up on the track up there. Slide job. Uh oh, we got tagged. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. <laughs> Pretty good fun, you know. I like I like driving underpowered cars. I think that they're very good fun uh, to race when they don't have much power. Or about uh, momentum and driver consistency and all that sort of stuff. A little bit of side by side racing there, but it's the 27, not the 25. Looks like that high line might be perhaps a little bit slow down in one and two. Carry more speed into the corners but not off as the over and under. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, load up the race. Uh, next session. We'll start at the back like we always do. And uh, we'll come from the rear. Yeah, that's a cool looking car. The number three, the Dale Earnhardt Wrangler. Delivery. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, 20 laps coming from the back. That's a bit slow to push away. Now we're up to speed. See the yellow Jeep Pace truck at the front up there about to pull off to the right. There it goes. So going green next time by. Oh. It's a fast pace lap. Very fast pace lap. All right, here we go. The high line's just perhaps not quite quick enough. Evenly matched. Oh. We got cars everywhere. A bit of contact. Still good. It's all a bit messy, isn't it? I don't like running on the on the bottom. for a, a gap to feed up into. Much prefer the top, but just doesn't seem to be that quick. Get the run off the cushion here if we can. Uh, not quite. Although we, we are we are good down into the corners, we can drive nice and deep in. Forgot to change that gear ratio. track here, follow these guys, see whether or not we can make up any ground. Yeah, we're good, we're good on entry. They say we drove it hard in and then ran high. Just got to the wall a little there on the main straight. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're all the way out of room up there.
Top is actually pretty good in three and four because you get the big run down the straight into turn one. So we're going to try and split the 41. One outside, one inside. That was awesome. Try and get a run on the 109. I love it in these sort of classes how you get such a mixture of paint paint schemes, you get the guys who have got the very, very good professional looking paints and then the ones who have just got a number slapped on the door. <laughs> I love it. These guys all had a bit of a check up there in turn one. Persevering with the top. Making grain, making gains. Big run on the outside there that time. Hold on to the momentum, keep the wheel as steady as we can. It's for a spot in the top five here that we're racing for. Oh! They all got checked up down there in turn one. They went three wide. Pushing hard here to try and get up onto the podium. So evenly matched, it's awesome. Drive it down at the corner. Diamond off the cushion, get the run on the straight. Must be getting low on laps. The 82 persists. A little bit deep and a little bit too sideways there that time. on for the lead. Oh, I got the wall off the two. Checkered flag could wave any time. Still not quite clear. Tried to run more in the middle and he pushed me up a little. This is the flag. Oh, how close was that? Call it either way. I'm not sure if we won that one or not. We finished second. We finished second. <laughs> Oh, he got us at the line. That's so unlucky. What a good race, though. That was really good. Oh. Oh, man. That was a lot of fun. These cars are very, very enjoyable. Despite being a little underpowered, they do make for good racing. It's almost like plate racing. Very, very fun. Thanks very much to Jackson Crawford for the suggestion on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Follow me on Twitter, at Hobo88, for all the latest. A bit of a quiet week happening this week on the channel, but uh, I appreciate all your support. Uh, jump into the Discord channel, become part of the community, talk to the other people that follow along, organise races and catch up with me from time to time. Keeps up to date as well with what I'm up to. But uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.